Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new Apple TV Plus film, Cherry, and this is directed by the Russo brothers, fresh off of making some of the best comic book movies ever with two Captain America films and the last two Avengers films, and this is starring Tom Holland, who worked with the Russo brothers on three of those films, and it centers on this young man who... This whole film is over the course of many years, as it turns out, as he falls in love with this young woman, goes off to war, comes back, becomes a junkie, becomes a bank robber, and a lot of things going on in this crazy story that this young man goes through. And you have Tom Holland playing Cherry, who, you know, he starts off this film, he's this, like, he's off in college, he has a girlfriend back home who's off at college too, but like, they're not really connecting anymore, and he sees this young woman in class and flirts a little bit and falls in love with her, played by Sierra Bravo, who I had recently seen in the show Wayne, and she's fantastic in that, and she really brings it in this film as well. And these two really hit it off. There's some tension in the ups and downs of young love, and are they going to make it work? Are they going to stick together? And then, just when, you know, they seem to be putting things together, he goes off to war. And then you get the whole training montages and, like, all those scenes in training, and then goes off to war and sees some terrible things, and then comes back dealing with horrible PTSD, and comes back to dealing with drugs, and both him and his wife become drug addicts, and then, you know, how do you pay for the drugs? Rob Banks. And that's Cherry in a nutshell. Very large nutshell. There's a lot going on in this two hour and 20 minute film. But what's so impressive is the Russos pick up, for the most part, keep up a really great pace and bring a lot of style to this film. Whether it's the use of red and the camera work, the different exaggerated camera angles, how things are shot, different aspect ratios, and like, in training, when, like, the drill sergeants are yelling these words and they're, like, smashing into the frame in, like, this really obnoxious, like, red, aggressive print. You just have all of this pizzazz that you didn't see in the Avengers films because, like, there's a certain level of, like, uniformity to what Marvel tries to do with their films. Here, it feels like the Russos are just, like, even shots like him, you have Cherry flirting with Ch uh, Emily, played by Bravo after class, and they're just standing outside, and there's tons of people around them, but they're the only two in focus. Everything else is blurry. And even stuff like that, it brings such a... It represents the attraction that they have for each other. They're just so focused on each other. And little choices like that in terms of how the film is made from a technical standpoint really works. And then you have the music that's aggressive and really emotive from... Henry Jackman, who has had a long career of making scores for big movies. You have the cinematography from Newton Thomas Seigel, who has worked on films like Drive, and The Usual Suspects, really working with Brian Singer films, with some of the X-Men films too, and there's a level of craft that goes into this film that really makes it stand out. And then the performances really make it stand out. Tom Holland is amazing in this film. He is able to capture like that like nervousness of falling in love, the, the passion that him and Bravo have for each other as they're making this connection. You have the... You can see the impact that this violence had on him. And then when he comes back, the anger that he experiences from the PTSD is so poignant and raw that you just feel it. You can tell so much on his face and how he carries himself that he's experiencing some dark things. And when he becomes a drug addict, just the twitching, like the, just everything about his performance embodies that addiction. And it works so well. And Bravo, very much the same. She goes toe to toe with him. And it's really impressive. In terms of the story, there's definitely parts of this film that could have been trimmed up a bit, especially during, like, it's broken up into chapters, like the dope life and, like, the bank robbery things could have been a little more concise and a little bit tighter. Because those are the only times in the film where I felt like the pacing started to drag a little bit in terms of what the film was trying to portray. 
And there's some characters throughout the film that are a little just like stereotypes and there's not a whole lot of depth to them. Like you have Jack Rayner who plays the their drug dealer and he's a lot of fun. He's funny. There's some great dialogue in this film, but like there's not a whole lot of depth to a lot of the other characters except for your two main characters here. And there's a lot of complexity in them. So it might be enough. And you could kind of forgive some of those other characters for just being caricatures for the most part that are peppered throughout the film. There's certain things that are telegraphed and you can definitely like, well, that's definitely going to happen. And like, they set up his best friend at the during the war and like he got his girl pregnant and they got married, his wife, and you're just like, ooh, dude's gonna die. And, you know, certain things like that feel a little bit telegraphed and you can definitely tell where some of the story's going in that way, but there's so much energy and pizzazz and just style and strong performances that are really raw, that really pull you into this film that make this something special. And... If this were closer to like the two hour mark, I think it would have worked really, really well. It's a little flabby with that two hour and 20 minute runtime. Things could have been tightened a little bit. But in general, I think this is a really impressive film. It shows just what the Russo brothers can do as filmmakers and what Tom Holland and Sierra Bravo can do as actors. I really look forward to seeing more of both of their work and seeing what the Russo brothers do with their direction. But those are my thoughts on Cherry, which I think you better go check this out when it pops up on Apple TV+. Plus. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.